Hello, so if you haven't done so already, before you listen to this word, please check out part one of this particular message because in that particular video, I first outlined the dream that corresponds with the um, message and the scriptures that I'm going to present in this video. All right. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. The name of this message is called Kingdom Nations and Cities Will Be Built. With supernatural seed, we will enter into the promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. It will be a kingdom nation shining bright on a hill. Great kingdoms will be given to his people and will be built up and multiplied for his glory in the spiritual and in the natural. The blossoming of the flowers in the dream speaks of the growth, prosperity, and fertility that will take place in these great nations and cities. Later, it was revealed that the stadium I saw in the dream was a multi-purpose space mainly used for church and worship. This was no ordinary stadium. This was a multi-billion dollar stadium and it was the epicenter of the city. And the Holy Spirit revealed that it will be used for entertainment, recreation, but most importantly for revival. Then there was a school. The school looked like a university. It speaks of how God wants us once we enter into the promised land to teach the next generation about God's goodness. And God is saying, with this wealth, to possess the promised land. And once there, to build kingdom cities. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 10 through 11 states, So it shall be when the Lord your God brings you into the land of which he swore to your fathers. Right? Abraham the covenant. Remember that? To Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build. Houses full of all good things which you did not feel. And check this out. Hewn out wells which you did not dig. Okay, wells that you did not dig. Does that last part sound familiar? Hewn out wells which you did not dig? If you looked at my prior video, the well of Sheba, I spoke about how God is going to supply provision for some of his children via Sheba Enu. This was confirmed to me via one of our umbrella scriptures, Genesis chapter 26. At the end of chapter Genesis chapter 26, Isaac finds water and he called that place Sheba. Deuteronomy chapter 6 confirms the prior word that was given about Sheba Enu. Along with Genesis chapter 26, God revealed to me that Isaiah chapter 61 will also be an umbrella scripture for the wealth transfer. If you haven't read Isaiah chapter 61, I advise you to do so. It is a very poignant and powerful passage. I am not going to read the entire chapter today. However, I am going to read verses 4, 9, and 11 because they directly relate to today's message. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 4 states that they will build the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. And verse 9 states, Their descendants will be known among the nations and offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are a people the Lord has blessed. Again, we will see. Again, we will be shining bright, y'all. Praise God. And finally, verse 11 declares, For as the soil makes the sprout come up and a garden causes seeds to grow, so the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. And again, this is speaking of the great revival. Amen. Well, that was the message. But before I go, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Before I go, remember that I love you. But guess what? God loves you more. Be blessed. Till next time. Bye.